Under 90 seconds to play. There's Kato. What a look. Jordan Walsh on the stop. That's a great cut out of the corner. A nice pass by Kato. That's Celtics rookie Jordan Walsh. And now joining us from up in Maine where he's getting ready for the start of the G League playoffs is Jordan himself. Jordan, thank you for taking the time to join us on a, what's going to be a crazy start of a part of the year with uh, everything going on. Absolutely. I'm, I'm, thank you for inviting me. All right, let's start with you guys getting ready for the G League playoffs now. Take me back to Saturday down in your, your native Texas. Career high 27 points, five threes. You had to hit, hit a big three, free throw at the end of that game. What was that like? Um, it was amazing, you know, to be back home and to be able to, you know, show out in front of my family and the fans, you know, it's an amazing feeling. But also to clinch, you know, the second seed, you know, to have that by the first game and to have it, um, their next game be played at home again, you know, it's an amazing feeling. I'm glad that, you know, our, us, you know, and the organization could achieve that. Yeah, so you guys play on Thursday night up at the Portland Expo. Tickets available on MainCeltics.com. Take me back to last week, the Celtics were in Atlanta while you guys were playing down there. A lot of your teammates got a chance to come out and see you. What did that mean for you to see some of the personnel out there, guys supporting you on, on the court? Uh, I mean, it was amazing. Um, you know, I'm around those guys a lot, but I feel like it was even bigger for, you know, the rest of the guys on our roster, you know, being able to, to be there and interact with those guys and, and see them supporting them at a game. Um, obviously, you know, it's always good to have, you know, two organizations who are supposed to be one and the same, you know, come together at an event like that. And for it to be that game and for us to, you know, play well and for it to go well and, you know, you know how it went. But for it to go out how it did, you know, it was still an amazing opportunity for those guys to be there and support. And, you know, not just the players, but, you know, the staff, the coaches, the player development guys, you know, people you see on a daily basis or I would see on a daily basis that, you know, now my teammates like James Banks and Tony Snell get a chance to meet and interact with. It's an amazing feeling. So uh, even Sam's talked about wanting to go up to Maine during the season. Obviously, that's where he kind of started and got his. When, when you look at someone like Sam, does that give you like a roadmap for how, you know, your career might play out sort of a lot of G League this year, but a chance to, the, to further down the road for, for this thing to expand? Um, absolutely. You know, there's a lot of people, you know, before me who have been successful doing what I'm doing and have been successful in the path that I'm going. And Sam just happens to be one of those people. Um, obviously, it's, it's, it's nice because he's somebody I can talk to and I, and I see a lot. Um, and also, it was big for him to, to come out and support as well. But yeah, to know that, you know, the blueprint is successful and not just this organization, but, you know, for other organizations as well, with people doing the same thing that I'm doing, you know, it definitely gives me a, a certain level of comfort. Um, at the same time, I do want to fight for, for a future that I want. So I'm always going to be competing, always going to be fighting for that next opportunity. But to know that it is possible and it can be done is definitely a, a feeling that makes you feel better and helps you sleep at night. Take me through that mindset. Like, what, what do you envision, you know, for, for further down the road? Do you let yourself start setting goals? What are your conversations like with Joe Missoula when you're talking about that potential future? Like, how does that all work out in your mind? Um, I mean, well, it's all pretty much um, day by day, to be honest, um, because, I, you know, you go up and down so much. It's always like you could be here one second and then be in Boston the next second. And it's kind of like just always staying ready. Um, I'm always in like a certain mindset of, you know, you never know when your chance can come. You never know when your opportunity can come. So to be able to always have a mindset of, oh, I'll be ready whenever it is time or I'll be ready whenever my name is called is important. And uh, for the times that I do go into Boston, I get a chance to play or I go to Boston, I get a chance to practice against those guys. You know, I always try to, you know, assert myself as somebody who's there to, to stay and who's going to be there to compete at a high level. Not many rookies get the chance to join a team with championship aspirations. What is it like when you are around this team? What is it like to, to know what this team is capable of and, and be part of that? I mean, it's amazing. Um, you know, not a lot of people go through their whole careers without having, you know, playoff experience. Um, but, you know, in my first year, I'll be able to be in the playoffs with a team that, you know, has a chance to, to do something special. And so to, to have that, you know, in the first year definitely sets, might set a standard for me for the future, which, you know, could be good or bad. Um, but 
to be able to, to have that experience and, you know, to start off my career around such great guys like Al, JT, and KP and Drew, um, to start my career with those guys in a place like Boston where, you know, the mentality is winning, you know, the standard is winning, but also being a good person and, and you know, doing it the right way. So to have that experience is definitely an amazing feeling. I'm super excited for playoffs with Maine and Boston. And I, hopefully, you know, we can get we can get two of them this year. As someone who sort of, I would say you're a defensive-minded player, defensive first player, when you watch the, the, this group of Celtics, like who jumps out like from a defensive standpoint when you watch this group? Because Jalen's talked about wanting everybody to get all defense votes. You know, who jumps out when you're on the court with these guys? Um, a hundred percent Drew Holiday, um, a hundred percent, um, just his technique and the angles that he takes when playing defense is amazing to me. Um, JB also just because of his competitiveness, you know, his grit to just want to guard somebody and shut them down makes him super special on the defensive end. But obviously they're both good players, you know, on the offensive end as well, but you know, to have them, you know, have things in their game that I can take and and add into my game to make me a better defender or maybe a better offensive guy is, is very important. Um, and for them to be willing to offer up any information that can help me in my journey is also as important. So I definitely appreciate those guys for, for helping me and setting a good example, for sure. Well, take me through that. Who's been in your ear throughout this whole time? I know you said when you first got here, Al Horford was talking to you. I think he gave you a whole bunch of recommendations on movies like Godfathers and stuff like that. Have you completed your, I guess, winter reading list or winter movie watching? And like, what? Who's still in your ear right now? Um, so right now, I would say, you know, I, I pretty much talk to everybody uh, when I get a chance to. But you know, Al is definitely still one of the one of the guys who I, I talk to whenever I'm up there. Um, and sometimes it's not it's not about like you know basketball or or anything like that. It could be about something random like traveling or, or food or anything like that um but when it is time to talk basketball you know he gives me a lot of insight on the game you know because al is one of the guys who transformed his game to be able to fit in this league and he done he's done he's been great at it he's super successful with it and he's, he's one of the best um so i definitely appreciate him and his wisdom um on and off the floor 100 percent. now when it comes to godfather though i couldn't <laughs> see we talked about it and mm -hmm. he said i told him how I couldn't get past the opening scene. Like it was too long. It was black and white. Like I was like, I couldn't do it. And yeah. He was like, sure, you got to finish, get past the opening scene and you'll see that it's good. And I was like, okay, well, I don't know about it, but maybe, maybe one day. Yeah. Well, when you're on the road with them during the playoffs, he can, he, he'll, he can get in your ear. He can give you his little DVD player, whatever it needs to be and, and, and try to get you through it. Let's end on this. What, what, what have you been able to do for fun up in Maine? I always find it fun when guys go from Boston up to Maine. Like, you know, the weather can be a little bit volatile. Have you found good spots to eat, things to do? What are you, what are you doing up in Maine? Yeah, the main thing is just going around trying every food place I can. Um, I went to one place the other day, um, and I got, like, a sweet Thai chili mac and cheese, and it was fire. Mm. I would say that that's, that's pretty much my fun. Whenever I'm not doing basketball, it's like, Oh, I'm going to go out here and try this new lobster place, this new, you know, Mexican place or whatever it is. And, um, yeah, Maine has not disappointed me when it comes to food. I can tell you that. I was going to say, were you a seafood guy before this? Have you dabbled in the lobster rolls since you've been up there? How's that going? I've dabbled in the seafood, but being from Texas, it's always mm. more like crab, like shrimp, you know, stuff like that. Um, but when I got up here, I had my first lobster roll, um, well, in Boston and then Maine. And, you know, it was... It was eye opening. It was a life changing experience. I do that so myself. It was really, really good. And I almost eat one every day. Oh, wow. All right. Well, Jordan, good luck in the G League playoffs. We'll see you back down here in Boston for the Celtics playoff run. Thank you so much for your time. Sure. Thank you for inviting me.